Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our ongoing video user guide for APT and this time we're going to be looking at DARV Drift Align by Robert Rice uh, This is a drift align method you can use to align your polar align your scope um, basically the camera opens the lens, the mount moves uh, to the east and then back to the from east to west and then back again and then uh, you look at the resulting image if there's a nice straight line both directions then your mount is aligned but if there's a bit of a V shape in it then your alignments out on that axis uh, whichever one you're working on at the time and you need to adjust it to get a straight line um, generally I don't run it that way I use it as a confirmation method uh, I'll polar align in another uh, method and then come back and check it's right with DARV and on this occasion it was a clear night last night so I got out and used uh, PAPS to do my polar alignment then I've come in now and I've used DARV to confirm that PAPS was right so I'll get in here now and we can take a look at how it works okay so this little box you see here is DARV um, I'll zoom in on it again and it's a pretty basic setup um, you want to align either your azimuth or your altitude for your azimuth you go close to your uh, opposite meridian to your pole star so I'm in the south so I'm pointing my telescope to the north um, and when I do the altitude I'll point it to the east uh, try and keep it as close to the uh, uh, meridian uh, not the meridian the um, equator celestial equator as you can um, celestial equator or uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, close, so close to deco, your declination zero, and that's what I've got at the moment. Um, then you have how long you want it to take for. I'm going to let it take 30 seconds, uh, get a good, look, strong line, and I want it to do twice as far going e fast as east as is going west. So all I do now is I hit on a line azimuth, and away it goes. So I'm just going to let that go at the moment and what this does is it moves the mount um, in a straight line and back again and of course the shutters open at the same time it will take a line and it will record that line and what you're looking for is there and back to be a single line um, so I'm just waiting for this to come back now do, 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 do. okay so a 30 second exposure it should come up in a minute oh beautiful beautiful um, as you can see uh, these lines in the background I won't bother zooming out I was going to but uh, if you look at those lines there it's <laughs> they're almost straight and that's what you want to see if they've got a bit of a V shape that means your polar alignments out so from that my azimuth is very very good so now what I'm going to do um, I will zoom back out for this one I'm just going to move the mount and put it uh, pointing to the east so gear now I'm going to go shift click on go to and uh, for an azimuth oh, let's say 65 I've got to be careful around here um, because I've got trees to my east and a house to my west <laughs> uh, and all altitude um, 35 will do go to so now my mouse just moving there and once it gets there I'm going to run the align altitude so we've got there there let it settle for a minute and then I'm going to do the same thing I do like these lines they look very very nice hopefully I can get the same going this way so here we go align altitude and it's the same thing it just moves the mount with the shutter open and you're looking for the same thing as what you see here nice straight lines so hopefully that'll work so this you know, 30 seconds you can do it shorter if you want um, I think the default has got 0.1 uh, but I like to do it a bit longer so I do half a minute and we're coming up to that now 26 27 28 29 30 so let's have a look and see if I can get nice straight lines on this one. Oh, beautiful. So that's just, yeah, you might want to do that just to confirm that your PAPS is right. Um, that's generally what I use DARV for rather than actually trying to adjust using DARV. But looking at those lines, um, 
they're almost spot on. So couldn't ask for really better than that. But that's how you do use DAV. Um, all you need to do then is just close it. And like I said, I'm I'm wrapped in those actually. Uh, so Paps has worked well, and now Darv has worked well. So I will finish this one here and come back to you all later when I find something. I might do a run through while I've got the sky. I might run through um, autofocus. So just give me a moment here.